YouTube. Um, it's Jewel again. Um, today, uh, actually, I did my last video yesterday. I didn't think I was going to do one for a couple of days, but I noticed when I was in my fruiting uh, room yesterday that I have this like purple liquid puddling all in the bottom of the uh, the, the room. So I actually been noticing it all week. And uh, bottom line, it's spores. What happens is, you know, when you have a lot of spores in the air and you have a lot of circulation fans and you have a lot of humidity, um, all three of which are totally normal inside of a fruiting room, you, you basically get this like perfect storm. So spores are in the air, um, it's really humid, so the fans that I have above, like in the top of the fruiting chamber, they are raining down this purple liquid. It is really pretty. It's, it's the prettiest condensation I've ever seen, but uh, yeah, it's gross and I don't want to get sick. So in the end of the day, it's because I have uh, poor exhaust issues, poor, um, my exhaust fan itself is good, but the way I have it set up is bad. And I set it up uh, knowing that it was temporary and I've just been too busy to change it. So it's been like this for like five weeks. So today I'm going to uh, upgrade or change whatever my... Um, my my exhaust fan and I'm gonna do some um, PVC pipe that I've cut and uh, use some like aluminum dryer ducting and some duct tape and yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna rig this thing up and hopefully it works so I will take you along while I do it okay so just to show you kind of what I've been working with this is a Vintec I believe this is a four inch inline uh, uh, duct fan and I have it connected to just some regular dryer uh, duct venting. And I've got some super high tech um, duct tape. You know, I'm a chick, so I, I gotta have the, the nice, pretty teal color, you know, duct, duct tape or whatever. But uh, yeah, duct taped on both sides. And the this obviously is going in to the chamber um, in one of the pockets that we have. And there's like draw, drawstrings, so I can keep it pretty, fairly tight going into the chamber. On the other end of the chamber, I'm sorry, on the other end of the, uh, the aluminum uh, ducting, I actually have a piece of, well, I'll just show you that in a second. It's something that I rigged up. So anyways, this is going out through my window. So you can see I've got a, I've got like just one of the old school windows, you know, you, you pull up or whatever, and I cut some plywood. It's fairly thick. I don't know. It's not like the super thick. Uh, I can't really tell here, but I cut it um, with some plywood cut a brown hole there and uh, just again duct taped all around it and it's actually pretty secure I mean right now it is 10 degrees outside I'm in Maryland right outside of Baltimore so it's cold as hell and I don't feel any like breeze no draft whatever and then same thing on the sides I uh, just duct taped and so far it's been working really really good um, I've had some rain snow I wouldn't think would really affect it but I have had some heavy rain and not an issue at all so I'm, I'm really happy with this setup so it's going out that way and it's just as you see it's just not set up so well here I actually I need to get the Ventec inside the the fruiting room for one and I need to flip it on its side because right now I've got water it's actually here I don't know if you can hear that somewhere there's like water kind of puddling in there and that's what's kind of holding up the spores so this is really high tech, high tech for me anyways. These are, this is what I've been using, or I'm, I'm going to use. Hopefully it works. If not, I will report back on that. Um, so I got one long piece of PVC pipe. It's four inches again. Everything is four inches because that's what the, uh, the, <clears throat> the Vintec is. And uh, I call this a camping saw. I don't know what the hell it is. Guys, I really don't want anyone leaving comments about exactly, you know, well, you can. Go ahead. Leave a comment on what that is and all this stuff. Again, I'm a girl. When I go into Home Depot, if I don't know exactly what I'm asking for, I just ask the guys and, you know, I bat my eyelashes and look cute and they help me. So, <clears throat> so I got one piece of this long PVC, cut it in half. I, I didn't even really measure. I just know I need one side to go on this side of the, the fan and the other one on that side of the fan. I've got some kind of elbow situations happening. Um, I've got this part that has, um, like, the grooves that's going to actually tie in to this part this is uh, I'm gonna actually be able to open this up and all that collecting liquid that I could feel in there and here jostling it around um, I'll be able to open that up the goal the plan is to open that up 
so I can kind of let that liquid out when it builds up and then clean in here really, really good. And that's just a tea. And I might not use that. But this is what I have so far. And um, this is actually based off of Eric from Myers Mushrooms. He has a similar setup. Uh, similar and yet different. So I am just kind of rolling with what I think might work for my grow. Okay, so I've just uh, just taken this off. I've got some gloves on. Actually, I'm putting my mask on just because I'm not sure, you know, how many spores are in here. And I'd rather just be safe, safer than sorry. So I'm gonna put my mask back on after I stop the video. But you can kind of, I don't know if you can see. There we go. If I, if I lean back, you can see that purple shit that I was talking about. That that purple juice. So it's all up in here. These should be the reason I was using this kind of. Um, uh, ducting or whatever it's cheap and I can change it a lot my plan was to change it like once a month just to cut it and put some fresh stuff on there I don't know if that's necessary or not um, I'm sure that people that have like regular PVC that go all the way you know out of their their house they don't change it but uh, you know if, if I've got something that's easily changeable like this I will so up here in the Vintech even I can't really see that well up in there. So basically, I'm, I'm going to take that other side off, take it all the way apart. And luckily for me, aha, I had my plumber install a utility sink right here in my fruiting room. So uh, I'm just going to give it a good uh, washing and everything when I um, separate it. So, all right, stay tuned. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see in here because I turned off my... Uh, my exhaust um, but that's the purple juice that I was talking about and it's basically raining down from here from my hurricane fans that are on the top of here um, I've got some, some more down there you can see it really good that's the, where the exhaust comes in to the fruiting room right there so I'm about to pull that out and disconnect the Vintech and uh, I'll see you on the other side all right, so I've got this whole thing disconnected. It's just one, um, you know, one little wire here. So I'm gonna try to keep that out of the water. And I'm gonna try to stay out of the light. It's really dark in this room, but uh, you can see all the the grime and the the purple stuff. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this off. It's just a little sleeve, um, just to give it a little cleaning. And I'm just gonna give it a rinse. Use some just regular Meyer soap and. Um, just wash it down really good before I go uh, putting it inside and figuring out um, how I'm going to install it. Alrighty, I'm back. So I cleaned um, as best I could in the Vintech. I just used a sponge and some dish uh, liquid. I can tell that um, it's going to be really good um, when I have a better scrub brush. I ordered a baby bottle brush and that's going to be great to get down into the, the fan parts and all that. Um, so what I did, um, I dried it off really good, and um, one thing on the inside of the chamber and on the outside uh, of the house, on the other side of this uh, this dryer duct vent, I put this, uh, it's called a it's range hood filter. I, I kept looking for just simple wire mesh in, uh, in, in the Home Depot and couldn't find just regular freaking mesh. I'm just trying to keep the bugs out. We have a lot of stink bugs here and, you know, spiders, all that kind of stuff. And um, I, I came across this range hood filter. I forget how much it was. It, it wasn't much. And um, I actually have a second one because I have the joy of doing this a second time in my other grow room. But anyway, it came, it came in a sheet like that. And I actually cut it. I cut it in, into quarters. So I'll be able to use one sheet um, for four different you know cleanings or whatever so uh so yeah i mean for me that's a just a good solution to keeping bugs out and stuff like that if anyone has a better solution sure let me know um i put some duct tape around it duct tape worked really good for the last five weeks i mean nothing got out or anything duct tape stayed on i switched it up for red for the holidays woo -woo. um you know always trying to accessorize whenever i can but uh yeah so i put that back on the next step is to take this inside the grow room and go ahead and figure out how the heck I'm going to have it sit on its side. It's actually going to sit just like this 
somewhere, um, except it can't sit. It has to like obviously go up so that it can get some airflow. Other people um, have like permanent fixtures in their grow so they can kind of like mount those little brackets to it, but uh, I don't have that. I, don't, I just have those removable shelving units and uh, I, I do plan to move them quite a bit so that I can actually scrub them down really, really good. So, uh, you know, next step, figuring out exactly how to have this so that it sits up somehow like this. Okay, so I think I'm just about done. I'm hoping that this is going to work. I feel good about it. Um, we'll see in a couple of days, I guess. So these are all pieces that I actually didn't use. Didn't use this elbow. I didn't use whatever this thing is. Um, this little piece here, um, that's just what I cut off um, from the, the larger pipe. Sorry about that. Um, so I'll actually use that in the um, other grow room that I have. So starting from the outside here, what I wound up doing, I just took this exact same um, ducting from, you know, dryer ducting, because it was long enough, and I brought it here. Of course, I used my duct tape, and I duct taped it to that other half there of that four inch PVC pipe. So it's nice and secure here, which I like. Um, and it's going Again, I have all these, I oh, can't really see it, but I have all these like pockets and with these um, jawstrings. So I'm gonna jawstring it, drawstring it really tight once I'm all finished. But now going inside, I'm gonna try to get out of here quick just because there are still a lot of spores in here. I don't have my mask on. So what I did is, again, this side is the intake. And I actually put it on its side, and I have that T kind of connected, again, with duct tape to the back end of the Ventec. This I have so that I can unscrew it. When there gets a lot of shit up in it, I can unscrew it and clean it. And then that's the other side of the pipe. It's just connected with the other side of that PVC pipe, and it's going out of that area um, where the drawstrings are. So that's pretty much it. I, I think this could do the job. Um, yeah, I think this is gonna work, having it in here. And then once um, it is like up and running, I see it's functional, you can actually just hose it down um, in here. But honestly, I'd probably just take it off and do a good scrub outside. So I think that's the end of my video. I'm gonna go back in here and do some cleaning up. Um, I'm gonna especially clean up um, all that spore juice and uh, I think that'll, um, that, cleaning that and the fans and just pretty much giving everything a good scrub down, that should kind of tell me whether or not that was my problem. I'm pretty sure it was my problem, but, um, but yeah, if you're seeing spores or you're seeing some, some colored liquids, um, that's probably not such a good thing. So learn from my mistakes. Again, this whole channel is documenting my mistakes as well as hopefully some, uh, some good successes too. But anyways, have a, a happy new year if you're watching this today or tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be drinking tons of champagne, so um, holla at your girl and uh, bottoms up. Take care.